What is up YouTube? It's your boy, we're going back again with another reaction video. Okay, so. Oh, Italy, Italy, <laughs> you did your thing. Italy did their thing. I mean, regardless of what team you were supporting, you can't really throw shade at Italy because they deserve to win the game. They deserve to win the tournament. They were the best team pretty much in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they came in hot and went out hot. <laughs> they did not lose a single game. That's how you come in and you body. That's how you come in and you win a tournament. You just come in hot and leave hot. Um, we'll talk about the England game towards the end of the video uh, when the when the game pops up. But for now, we're going to be checking out Italy's Road to Victory Euro 2020. Video, Legendary Matches TV. Link in the description for you the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And let's run up this road to victory. Starting now. First game versus Turkey. Yes, sir. <laughs> so they bought it. Oh, yeah, they did go um, put three up against Turkey. Yep. I remember that. Taking they played the first game of the tournament and the last game of the tournament. For a foul, well, they are checking for a potential handball. Mm. Piolini's goal is no longer handball by him. Oh, fast time. You need someone to join. But he beat Suisse, I know. Chiesa. Oh, Locatelli. Some proper strikes. Good save by Donnarumma. Still alive. Still pinballing around. It's a great ball. Him on the lane. He's Close. finishing his way with. He's been here until all this time. That's an effort that's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the Immobile didn't do too much towards the latter stages. He's finished off the Swiss. That was a nice strike. I love how the ball just get there. Italy rack up another Roman conquest. It is their 10th straight victory without conceding a goal. Mm. The Stadio Olimpico, one of the most famous grounds Versus in the Wales. game and host to an Italy side that have already played here twice. Stoney out to carry the ball. Ball in. Close. And Emerson. He might have a go, it's comfortable for him. Warm in the end. Trouble that worked it very well. Baloti from the angle. Ooh. Drags it wide. And he goes from James. Nice front corner as well. I didn't really see Wells in this tournament. Gunter, which is dangerous. A stony. Teasing one in. Breaks to the back post. Mm. Could hit the target. Yes. Yes, yes. I just remembered. Chiesa. Wait, we'll talk about him towards the end of the video. Let's, let's go. We'll talk about him towards the end of the video as well. This is a good position for the Italians. Yeah, let's do Chiesa. Ball in. Pessina. They got a lot of like dudes that you don't know their names. Like they're not the best team by any stretch of the imagination. And he almost provided another goal. And they got a lot of no-name dudes. But they just work so well together. Yeah, feed him. Yeah, you too. Bro, it's too slow with the feet. Free kick for Wales. Roberts with a diagonal. And it's helped on. Puts it over. One nil. 
Yeah. He did not lose a single game. This dude, Kiesa. We'll talk about him towards the end of the video. Oh, they were up against Austria. God damn it, I wanted Austria to go further. <laughs> yeah, if that went in. Yeah, <laughs> even the defenders put his hand on his head. Even the defenders put their hand on their head, bro. Cause you knew what time it, you knew what time that was. Ball in. Go. No goal. Offside. Tough. Tough. We're talking about him towards the end of the towards the end of the video. This dude, Kiesa. I had no idea who this was. I mean, I've probably seen him in a, in like an underrated, the top 10 underrated guys in football. But that's all I know about him. This dude, Kiesa. Nice little retention of the ball. And hey, you gotta finish those, thank you. <laughs> Proper celebration. Bro just drops there. I mean, Austria was just up against a hot team. Austria, they were just up against, they were up against a hot team. Touch on the way from Kalajic. Ooh, what a header. There it is. What a header. That dude just headed on the floor and then he just curved in. Proper header. Then versus, versus Belgium. But only one can progress. This game I did watch. I didn't watch any of the other games before this one. This one I did watch. This is the game uh, Spinazzola got injured, right? Cut in! <laughs> yeah, and the ball, the, the shot, the cutting. Mm. He had a couple of those this game. Donnarumma had to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Yeah, Donnarumma, boy. They put on a goddamn show this game. I thought Belgium was gonna win the game. I'm not gonna lie, but Italy just came in and just flushed them. What a hit! Came in and just flushed them. Two for Italy! Yeah. And then this dude Deku. There's a Doku. Jeremy Doku. He was pretty much the only one. Him and Kevin De Bruyne are the only ones doing anything in this game. Which he takes. Belgium back in the game. Romelu Lukaku's fourth goal of the tournament. Ramarati. Is there a final ball trap by Donnarumma? Doku's on his way. And he's got Kevin De Bruyne. Lukaku. Yeah. <laughs> Lukaku was pretty much a no-show. I thought that dude got injured. Spinazzola. I thought Spinazzola, oh, Spinazzola got injured in the in the Spain game. Chiesa caught in. <laughs> yeah. This dude, Chiesa. Yeah. Yeah. This dude, Chiesa. He's got to have his own video. We're gonna have to check him out soon. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a nice finish. A nice little tiki taka they had going on was proper. They still cannot be separated. They went to penalties. Will be decided in a penalty competition as it finishes in D1 in Spain 1. Please show us the penalties. Okay. Yeah, Locatelli did miss. And then that boy Dunorama had to save us. That boy Dunorama had to save us, bro. The tournament and missed penalties. Drea Bellotti with penalty kick number two. Yeah, easy money. Gerard Moreno. 
Oof. for Spain. Benucci is striding forward. And scores this one. Benucci is so calm under pressure when he's taking penalties, bro. Like he always gets it right. A la cantada, boy. <laughs> he did that so masterfully, bro. Yeah. I'm just waiting for that dude, Jorginho, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting for that Jorginho penalty. Yeah, Morata. Morata missed. Yeah, and Jorginho just walks up like it's nothing and just rolls it into the goddamn net, bro. <laughs> Let's see that again. Let's see that again. He walks up and he doesn't put any sort of power at all. He just rolls it in nice and slow so the goalie can savor that moment. Yeah, proper save from Donnarumma, boy. He walks up and he just rolls it nice and slowly. Nice and slowly so the goalie, the goalie can just savor the moment. <laughs> you gotta have some next level ice in your veins. Not enough. Gareth Southgate said just to be here. Now you have to choose. What color medal do you want? Okay. Sterling making a dart. And uh, before before we have, before we uh, finish the the Italy England game, I wanted to say that I was rooting for Italy in this game, but England, England. I mean, let's let's check, let's check the video. We'll do that at the end of the video. Yeah, when this happened, when this happened, I was <laughs> I thought England was gonna body them. I thought England was gonna just flush him. Yeah. I thought England was gonna win the penalties as well. And then Rashford missed. Put, put it, hit the bar, tough. And this dude scored. And then Sancho. Sancho missed. It's Italy's cup. And Georgie, when Jorginho missed, I was worried. When Jorginho missed, I was pretty worried. Um, roll a clip. Jorginho, my dude. Jorginho. The money man. Let's see this. Let's see this. On the line, on the line. How we doing this, Jorginho? <laughs> Damn! Oh. Close, 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 close. Yeah, you see that? When Jorginho missed, I said I was pretty distraught. As you saw in that little clip right there. But then, this happened. Yeah, Jorginho missed, and then that boy, Dunorama, bro. That superstar, Dunorama. <laughs> Roll the clip, boy. Woo! Okay, okay, Dunorama. Can we get this one? Can we get this one? <sighs> That's too much pressure. That's too much pressure. That's too much pressure! <laughs> Let's go! Boy! You know what goddamn time <laughs> You know what time it is, bro! You know what time it is, bro! <gasps> Dunarama, Dunarama is a superstar. Dunarama is a goddamn superstar. You don't put Shaka in that type of situation. No, 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 no. Look at that, bro! What a contest. It was nothing of beauty. Come on, man, zoom in on Dunarama. Zoom in on Dunarama. That's too much pressure for Shaka, man. That's too much pressure for him. Yeah, that's too much pressure. Can we zoom in on bro, zoom in on Dunarama, man? What are we talking here? <laughs> that boy Dunarama came through for me. England. 
if there is anybody on your squad that you do not put on the penalty spot at the fifth try to win the game for you, it is Saka. Why? He's 19. He has not taken a penalty for Arsenal. He has not played a big game before because Arsenal has been pretty much trash since he's got there. So he's not played in a big, this big a game. He's not taking penalties. And he's been asked to save England with all the pressure. You got me twisted if you think he's going to score that. Like, like, what? Like, you don't put him in this type of situation. The dude is, he doesn't have enough experience to perform, to, 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 to put this penalty at the back of the net. There's too much pressure. There's too much, there's simply too much pressure. There's too much, you, you can't, you can't let that happen, man. Like, I don't know why he's the one taking the last penalty. Like, who came up with this strategy? Um, but anyways, you saw that nice little clip of uh, Dunarama. Uh, Dunarama pretty much saved Italy in this game. But let's go though. Yeah. Proper save. And they win the game. Yeah, you don't put him in, you don't, you don't put him in that type of situation. That's the end of the video. You don't put Saka in that type of situation. Now let's let's deal with that England game. Let's deal with that England game. Coming into the game, I mean, I was supporting Italy. I wanted Italy to win that game, but England, Jesus, they played like they were Everton against Barcelona. They played like they were playing Everton versus Barcelona. But England, you have talent, you know that, right? But you can go ahead and attack Italy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got Sancho on the bench. Marcus Rashford on the bench, Jude Bellingham on the bench, Phil Foden, like, like, let me say, Declan Rice had a proper tournament, that dude Phillips had a proper tournament, but if you're going to beat Italy, you are going to have to take him off the dribble, you're going to have to put pressure on that, um, on that old defense that they have, Bonucci and Chiellini, you got to make the runs on them, if you keep giving them this little long balls, <laughs> that's what they want all day, they'll deal with those all day, you need guys to take them off the goddamn dribble, and distribute to the wings. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what they did in the first goal. You know what I'm saying? Dude's breaking down the middle and Luke Shaw having the wings to himself to dominate. But no, they wanted to defend. <laughs> For the life of me, I did not know why, but I was not mad because I wanted Italy to win that game. For the life of me, I do not understand why England decided, oh yeah, we're not finna play Rashford. We're not finna play Sancho. We not finna play Jude, we not finna play Foden, you know what I'm saying? And some other dudes that I probably don't know. Like Declan Rice and that dude Phillips, proper players, but they're not taking anybody off the dribble. They're not taking anybody off the dribble. They're not, <laughs> I don't know if, if, if whoever is their best, if the favorite player, they're not taking anybody on Italy off the dribble. They allowed um, Verratti to pretty much dominate, Verratti and Jorginho to pretty much dominate that midfield. And did boy, did they dominate that midfield. Jesus, Verratti. <laughs> Verratti, 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 yes. Verratti, he was playing that Luka Modric type role, the one where the the role where Luka Modric plays for Croatia, where he picks up the ball from the defense and just holds it until he's able to distribute. You know what I'm saying, just picking up the ball from the defense and just playing around with him, playing around with him, holding the ball, dominating the midfield. <laughs> and Chiesa, Jesus, Chiesa put on a show. Chiesa. Yeah, every time he got the ball, I'm like, who the hell is this dude? I've heard about him before. We watched the video on like the underrated, the most underrated players, and we saw him in that video, but I've never really seen him play before. And we saw that dude pretty much go to work. Every time he got the ball, attack mode, two, two, three touches, he's looking to score. Even when he's deep in the midfield, he's looking to score. Just in pure attack mode. If he did not get, if he didn't leave the game sooner, Italy would have won that game pretty, pretty handily. Like 2 1, 3 1. I, I just, they would have won that game. If Chiesa did not leave, they would have won that game. He was in attack mode. Just attacking England. Um, and Verratti deep in that midfield just dominated. Pretty much neutralizing all of the midfielders. Bonucci and Chiellini put on a goddamn show and Dunorama <laughs> Dunorama 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 that is how you save your country that is how you save your country after Jorginho missed that penalty I was kind of worried there 
And then Dunarama pretty much looked at him and told him, Jorginho, you ball in the game. Now you just have to sit back and let me go to work. <laughs> and he pretty much went to work on Saka and saved that penalty and won the game for Italy. And I think he won the best player in the tournament. I'm saying that's, that's deserved. That's deserved. He deserved to win that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Italy deserves to win the game, but England, you're not everything. You got a lot of talent on your squad, so go ahead and play them, please. Like what? <laughs> like if you're in, if you were supporting England, let me know if I'm tripping. But Sancho can play, right? Rashford can play, right? Phil Foden can ball. Um, who else? That I might not think of. Drew Bellingham. Am I drunk? If I'm thinking he can ball and take you off the dribble, Jack Grealish coming in at the 76th minute, like he can ball, right? But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments. Italy, you did your thing, and you won that game. And you won the tournament like you were supposed to. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.